You said you was yep. hungry, bro. You said you wanted something to it eat. Happens all the time. You said you starving <laughs> out here. You been out here all day. Nobody ever gave you no money. You starving. I'm I'm willing to offer you the, the food and shit. And you're going to come over here talking about. I was just wondering if you could just give me the money. No, no, no. Why why didn't you say that at first? Why didn't you say right, that? Why, say I need twenty dollars. Right. Why you didn't say that at first? Like I need, you know, like five dollars, ten dollars or some shit like that. And I wouldn't give you ten dollars, but I'm just saying, why you didn't say that at first? <laughs> so Yep. So with, Yeah. So with that said, you've been you you you've been rocking out uh with that for seven years. Um, when did you feel mm -hmm. When did you feel that it was time for a career change? I mean, before was this before um, your before your nephew came up to you and be like, "Hey, uh, look, uh, auntie, I got this opportunity. You know, I want you to get into trucking." <laughs> well, I was previously married to a tow truck driver, so I had a little bit of just seeing. You know, that's totally different from driving eighteen wheeler. But um, I was previously married to a tow truck driver. I also had worked in, um, I had one of those, one of those professions that people, you know, hate. The, one of the professions that people love, people love to hate. <laughs> and I used to be, I used to do parking enforcement also. So I was always oh, around, shit. you know, vehicles outside. Was y'all, was y'all. For, for a major city. Was y'all, was y'all <laughs> featured. Back in the day. Was y'all featured on A&E's Parking Wars? We never got a chance to be, but when that when that show came on, I never wanted to watch it because I, I I never wanted. To, I maybe watched like probably three episodes of it, but that was exactly how our job was. I, yeah. You know, I want to ask you. I was one you, of those people. You you say you watched mm -hmm. a couple of episodes, so so reality versus what you see on TV, pretty much equal. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Uh, what what was something yeah. like that? Heck Damn. yeah, man! When I <laughs> When I was working, I worked in a city where, you know, in California, where it was always okay to, there was no laws in place like it is in the D.C. area. You know, D.C. area, you go to jail. But out in California, where I was working at, it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter. That your, you as a parking officer, that was just a part of your job of being assaulted. It was part of your job. So you would deal with people spitting on you, people throwing stuff. Somebody, I know one person had somebody just throwing pennies at them, <laughs> you know, from on the top or top top floor somewhere where they was doing, um, you know, enforcement. People no. have had have taken a, a cup full of piss <laughs> and just tell you drink and has have thrown it at some of the parking officers. It's crazy, blocking you in, chasing you down the street. That's why we had we, we had those small little vehicles, you know, the the, the call the Cushman. Those are like the smallest vehicles you can you can possibly drive. We, we were able to take those vehicles on the sidewalk. We were allowed by the by the law to take those vehicles on the sidewalk and drive on the sidewalk just in case we were being chased by somebody for a part for giving them a parking ticket. I have had death threats. <laughs> I'm telling you, doing that job had death threats. You know, all kind of stuff to happen. I mean, you know, oh, yeah. you, you know, this, <laughs> you know, again, that goes back to me growing up and, and understanding some, you know, some situations. I, you know, I, mm -hmm. I get it. It's a job, man. I mean, it's it's a job. I mean, I don't want to, bro, I, I don't want to come and give you this ticket. But, you know, the job yeah, says I don't want to. The job says if the meter is is expired and you're not here to pay into it, I got to give you a ticket. I mean, I go through it all you the time. Give you that ticket. Listen, I go through it all the time. I live in an area. I live, you know, of course, I live in a residential area. I got a, you know, I got an 18 wheeler. I bobtail home and I had issues mm -hmm. with, you know. Now, now some of the cops, you know, that comes up and down my street knows that I park in the field next door to my house, you know. But when it's snow, uh -huh. you know, of course, when it's snowing and, you know, when it's snowing and all like that, I can't park in the field, you know, for fear of, you know, getting stuck and everything. But I, I park uh -huh. on I park on the street. Now, a handful of times I, I get a ticket. And yeah, I get mm -hmm. into my I get into my 
my <laughs> my feelings. Like, bro, really? Like what? Like really? You gonna but, give me a ticket? I, I, but I, I, but I get it. I I understand it. But man, you death threats too. Look. Oh yeah, I got death threats. All of that had to call wow. the whole department. I mean, it was just crazy stuff. Twice I've been threatened. Twice wow. I've had to happen. I had wow, somebody just... come up and rip my rip my vehicle while I'm in it. Start ripping it apart while I'm in it. Start taking my mirrors, crushing them. <laughs> you know, like a like a uh, what's it? A, a worldwide wrestling federation. I had somebody walk up on me like that before. You know, it's to start. Uh, Be you like, know, yo, I just, I, I just parked there. <laughs> I, I, I didn't see the sign. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't mm-hmm. know. I mean, it, was there some but the drawback? But was there that's the thing? Was there some the, issues? I mean, because on the show they be like, well, no. Once I write the, t-, you know, they getting they 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 get they s on H S like, no. When I write the ticket, I can't take the ticket back. But is there some issues where you can? take the ticket back and void it out yes yes it depends it it depends it's um it's 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 division by division i can say wherever they're working for a different company the company i was working for it's it's up to you it was it was the officer's discretion to take it back but you could not take back too many tickets per day you could not void too many tickets per day so because there is a time stamp in the background, running on you. They're paying you eight hours a day. They expect you to have citations every hour. They don't. They don't tell the public that usually, but you're expected to have citations throughout your work day. So you guys do have a a quota. There, there is a so there is a quota. So I this is say, a, I didn't say it. You did. Uh, <laughs> so there. So this is the same thing with the cops. When the cops be like, "No, we don't." Hello. Have, no, we don't have no quotas. Hello. She. Yep. I I work. I I work with the traffic division. Um. And yes, same situation. You know. Everybody who issues citations, don't let nobody fool you. Everybody who issues citations has to bring some in. Because those, I, I know in most most government agencies, those citations pay for um, going to the general fund. The general fund in most cities help fund, it helps fund, help fund a, lot of, a lot of stuff. Um, Different departments for different, like the school activities or whatever. If they have any city activities or city stuff, that general fund is where they draw that money out of. Wow. That general, that general fund it. is where a lot of the money I knew yeah. it. Yeah. I knew it because yeah, a lot of people, a lot of guys thought about, no, there ain't no, we don't have no quotas. We just do our jobs. Bro, y'all do have a quota. Some people, I, some people do, they have an expectation. That you better not come in there with zero, okay? you know. <laughs> you better not come in there with zero. Wow! Then they're gonna be looking at you like, "What were you doing all day?" Wow, you know? that's it's, crazy. It's, it's, you're gonna have some problems. So you going to so, office? So you guys got to at least have at least one ticket per hour. Let me ask. You let me have. Let it. me let me ask you this, man. I'm, I'm just saying I, roughly. That, I can't get. I can't get specific because right. I, you know, I don't want that company to come back. But right, right. The, but let me, you do let have me, to have a certain amount. Let me, let me per ask hour. you. Let me ask you this, man. Do you do you guys have like like ah uh, like uh what do you call it um do y'all got like uh like promotions and shit like y'all come in and. Who, who, whoever gets the most tickets and all like that, do y'all do y'all get compensated for for whoever get the most tickets and shit like that? Come on, no, man. they don't do that. They don't do that. Oh. But it's you know usually those jobs are by seniority. So so if you've been there long enough, you've been enduring the issues for you know that's how they compensate you. You get better shifts. So you can get get out of there earlier, you know, things like that before, you know, the rush hour, you know, during rush hour, you know, sometimes we'd have to start towing vehicles, vehicles on certain streets. You know, you see those signs that say no parking from oh, six shit. to nine or from four to six or whatever. 
you know, so some people don't like doing that. Some people do like doing that. So, you know, those people that probably would work earlier in the day didn't have to deal with that or work, you know, mm. you know, so that, that type of stuff. Oh. Those are the type of perks that okay. you get. It's like not having the rougher details, like a booting detail would uh, be a very rough detail. What? A booting detail have, where have you, you, you go run you, into somebody. Have, have you, have you been on that detail before or you know some horror stories from no, that No, thank God. No. <laughs> no, I, I left my agency when they were starting the program. They started it was up and running maybe six months and then I went on and left, left the field and moved to uh, this area. Now, started Kiki, doing this now, Kiki, I, I'm, I'm mm-hmm. hearing, I'm, I'm hearing you saying outside agencies. So this is like an outside company that's contracted with the city, or is this the city itself? That's the city itself. Uh, okay, some, okay, because, okay. Because sometimes the parking people are with the, um, you know, different departments within the city. But for me, we for us, we were with um, we were with the police department. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, so so the booting detail, which I you know, of course, is featured on the show as well. And you know, so mm-hmm. now now being that you know it's reality, I think some of it is kind of staged for dramatic effects. You know, I really you know I really think the producer be like. All right, we're gonna we're gonna you we're gonna find this car right here. We're gonna find the owner first. Tell the owner that we're you know such and such and such and such. We're parking wars, and then you know we'll pay you for you know your your face to be on the show. Uh, at the same time, mm-hmm. we'll pay you to come and be. I don't know. Be. I, I don't know. Be. You know. Just be. Wow, would it? Do you, do uh-huh. you, do you think, uh, do you think with with them coming to them asking that is is like some of that is for like I said for a dramatic effect or is that do those people actually uh get 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 down like that when when they car get booted? That's true. <laughs> I you know I was on a detail with I mean I was in a well I was in a because, you know, they call, I guess on that show, they were calling the tow truck after they booted. And I was actually in the car with, with you know, my ex-husband and uh, in his truck. And um, when they, you know, called to tow someone's car and the person got out and jumped on top of the car and was trying to ride down the street with the car. I have seen that. I have personally seen somebody start, start the car and start rolling the wheels. You know all that. Wow! I've personally seen it. I've seen somebody. I've seen somebody at this college campus come out, but bucket naked. <laughs> A college athlete come out bucket naked, running down the street. <laughs> I'm telling you, wow. that stuff is true. Okay. <laughs> okay. True. Well, what, what? All kind of stuff. So, being that you've been in it for seven years, uh, y'all y'all got paid what every two y'all got paid every what every two weeks and. What this was like? What about yep. a forty? What, what was this about a forty-four thousand dollar a year job or or more or what? It was about almost like sixty. Ugh, that's okay. That's it paid very that's, well. That's good California. money. This is this is before this was before Silicon Valley took off. Uh, okay. It was about fifty something. Okay, fifty something. But the overtime was. I'm gonna tell you the truth. The overtime was eighty three. Ooh, this was good money. I brought I, I brought home eighty three then. Yeah. Oh, okay. So okay. So this was back in you know this back in the day. Where and you and you're up in DC now. That's where you at now. I'm in DC now. Mm-hmm. And I and Jeez, I guarantee you, I why do you, not. Why? I, why you? Moved? I guarantee you. Why you moved? Well, there was a lot of personal stuff that went on. You know, I had death in the family. You know. Oh, okay. okay. I, my uncle got killed. Yeah, and then I, I went on. I left the organization. My uncle got killed. By the police. Wait, so wait, 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 wait. I didn't catch that. Somebody, somebody what now? My my uncle got uh, murdered by the police department and, uh, and my mother had ended up passing away. So I just went oh, on and just left damn. California. I am sorry to hear that. My, my condolences My, my uncle was, a, was an artist. 
Yeah, my uncle was an artist. He was 71 years old. He got shot by the by the by the folks. Oh my god! That right. was like the you know beginning of me leaving that career. Yeah, and that's you know something like that. You know, you're you. Your family. It was traumatic. Uh, your fam. Your family is uh you know got traumatic because of police violence. Um, I mm-hmm. you know what I'll I'll leave that subject alone because that's 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 a touchy mm-hmm. subject and a lot of people have mm-hmm. a whole bunch of different opinions. So we'll we'll leave that mm-hmm. one alone. Uh, but condolences mm-hmm. out to you though for. Uh, thank you, for thank that. you, and I'll send you some stuff on my uncle too because he was. He was kind of known, you know, but I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you after. after All right. So. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt.